So at the beginning of September, we went to Japan. We did a lot. I didn't take a lot of video, honestly. One of the few tourist attractions that we did hit while we were in Tokyo was Sensoji Temple. It's one of the oldest temples in Tokyo, if not the oldest, I'm not sure. Uh, and it was a gorgeous temple. Unfortunately for us, when we left the hotel, it was sprinkling thanks to Typhoon Jebby. And by the time we got to the temple, it was absolutely pouring. Luckily, it cleared up and we were able to explore while it was just gray outside, but most definitely do not want to go while it's pouring. The shopping street outside of the temple called Makamise is a really long shopping area where you can buy pretty much any souvenirs you're looking for. And it has to be one of my favorite places that we went while we were in Tokyo. When we were in Tokyo, we stayed in the Shinjuku ward right across the street from the Shinjuku station, which was really useful as it could take us anywhere we went. And we went to a few different wards. We definitely stopped by Akihabara, but honestly, we didn't do a lot of touristy stuff. And I found Akihabara, at least the main area of Akihabara, to be pretty disappointing. It became very repetitive going in stores and seeing a lot of the same stuff over and over again. So I ended up not taking a lot of video while I was there, but it was definitely fun to go. And if we had more time, I would love to go back and actually spend some time exploring the city proper, maybe go back to Akihabara and go off the beaten path a little bit to see what we could find there. Additionally, while we were there, we did go to one cat cafe and that was a ton of fun and I would highly suggest doing it if you ever get the chance. After our visit to Tokyo, we took a train to an onsen or a hot spring called Hotel Green Plaza Hakone and it's near Mount Fuji, which is one of the reasons why we picked it. And it's kind of up this mountain, you take a train to get to a bus station and then the bus station takes you up this mountain to where the hot spring is. We had our own onsen and we were in a Japanese style room, so we slept on futons. It was a lot of fun. And if you ever have the chance to get to an onsen, I would really suggest going. The morning that we left the hot spring, it was pouring, but we got down the mountain without a problem, and then we took a Shinkansen all the way to Kyoto. While in Kyoto, we did stay near the Gion district and we visited a large number of places while we were there, including the Yasaka Shrine and the Kenenji Temple. Uh, we also went to the Shirakawa area, which was all very nice. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of video because I got so caught up in just being there. One of the only touristy things that we did in Kyoto is we went to the Imperial Palace, which was pretty damaged, at least the trees were knocked down due to the typhoon that had hit, but other than that, it was a great little journey to walk through the Imperial Palace itself.
We had such a good time in Japan. We got caught up in the moment so often that I would forget to take out my camera or my phone and take video or pictures of what was going on. We went to so many places, temples, shopping districts, arcades, that it just became... I just got lost in the moment, which was so amazing to actually have done that. And we're gonna be going back in the spring, so I hope to bring back more video and more pictures to show to you guys. I do have an Instagram in which I've been putting a lot of the photos that I took, so if you're interested in checking out anything else that I haven't posted in this video, please check out the Instagram page listed in the description. I also have a Twitter account as well as a Discord that I use on the regular, so please go ahead and check those out if you guys are interested, and I will see you guys later. Bye!